Parking sensors are a very convenient system that makes parking much easier and safer to park. However, it can be difficult to determine what is wrong with it. In this video, we'll talk about how parking sensors work, what could cause them to stop working, and how to clean, fix, and replace the sensors. How do parking sensors work? Parking sensors are devices that can help you park your car with ease. But how do they work? Here's a look at how parking sensors work. When you're reversing into a parking space, the parking sensors will emit a sound. The sound will get louder as you get closer to an object. This alerts you to the fact that you're getting close to something and need to stop. The parking sensors use ultrasonic waves to detect objects. They send out these waves and then listen for the waves to bounce back. By measuring the time it takes for the waves to bounce back, they can calculate how far away an object is. Most parking sensors will have a display that shows you how close you are to an object. The display will usually be in the form of bars. The more bars that are lit up, the closer you are to an object. Some parking sensors will also give you a visual display on your car's dashboard. This can be helpful if you're not used to using the sound cues. Parking sensors can be a helpful tool when parking your car, but it's important to remember that they are not perfect. They may not always detect small objects, and they can be fooled by things like potholes. If you're ever in doubt about whether or not you should stop, it's always best to err on the side of caution and give yourself plenty of room to stop. Why do parking sensors stop working? While parking sensors are generally reliable, there are a few things that can cause them to stop working. One of the most common reasons for parking sensors to stop working is because they get dirty. Over time, dirt and grime can build up on the sensors, making it difficult for them to detect objects. If your parking sensors seem to be having trouble, you can try cleaning them with a soft cloth. Be careful not to use anything abrasive, as this could damage the sensors. Another reason why parking sensors might stop working is because of a problem with the wiring. If the wiring gets damaged, it can prevent the sensors from getting power or from sending signals properly. If you think there might be a problem with the wiring, it's best to take your car to a mechanic for an assessment. They can identify any issues and help you get your parking sensors back up and running. In some cases, parking sensors may simply wear out over time. If the sensors are old or damaged, they may not be able to do their job properly anymore. If this happens, you will likely need to replace the parking sensors entirely. Fortunately, this is usually a simple and affordable process that most drivers can take care of on their own. Whether your parking sensors stop working due to dirt, damage, or simply age, there are steps you can take to resolve the problem and get back on the road safely. How to properly clean parking sensors Most of us have experienced that annoying beep when we are trying to park. It is even more frustrating when you do not know how to fix it. In this article, we will show you how to properly clean parking sensors. Parking sensors are a great feature that can help make parking easier and less stressful. But over time, they can become dirty and covered in grime, which can cause them to stop working properly. Luckily, cleaning them is relatively easy and only takes a few minutes. To clean your parking sensors, you will need a microfiber cloth, WD-40, some isopropyl alcohol, and some foam tip cleaning swabs. I've listed these items in the video description if you want to have a look. First, start by using a microfiber cloth to wipe away any dirt or debris that is on the surface of the sensors. If there is any stubborn dirt or grime, you can spray it with WD-40 and let it sit for a few minutes before wiping it away. Once the surface is clean, you will need to clean the sensor itself. To do this, soak a cotton swab in rubbing alcohol and insert it into the sensor. Gently twist the cotton swab around until the sensor is clean. Repeat this process for each sensor. After you have cleaned all of the sensors, wipe them down with a microfiber cloth to remove any residual alcohol. Your parking sensors should now be clean and working properly. If they are still not working, you may check the wiring. How to test parking sensor wiring. To test the wiring of your parking sensors, you will need a multimeter and some spray contact cleaner. First, disconnect the negative battery terminal. This will prevent the system from being damaged while you are testing it. Next, locate the parking sensor wire harness. This is usually located near the front or rear bumper. Once you have found it, use the multimeter to test the continuity of the wires. If there is no continuity, then the wires are most likely damaged and will need to be replaced. If the wires are in good condition, then reconnect the negative battery terminal and test the system to see if it is working properly. If it is not, then there may be an issue with one of the sensors itself. Cleaning and maintaining your parking sensors is a relatively easy process that can help prolong the life of your system. By following the steps above, you can ensure that your sensors are always in top working condition. How to replace parking sensors. If your parking sensors are not working properly, you may need to replace them. This can be done either by replacing the entire sensor unit 
or by replacing the individual wires. To replace the sensor unit, you will first need to locate it. The sensor unit is typically located on either side of the rear bumper in a rectangular box. If you look closely, you should see small holes in each corner of the box. Once you have located the sensor unit, disconnect it from both the wiring harness and ground wire. Next, use a drill bit that is slightly smaller than your new parking sensors to drill out all of the mounting holes in your old unit. Next, place each new sensor into its corresponding hole until they are flush with the surface. Once all of the sensors are in place, use the self-tapping screws that came with your new unit to secure them into place. Now that the new sensor unit is in place, you will need to reconnect the wiring harness and ground wire. Once they are connected, test the system to make sure it is working properly. If you do not want to replace the entire sensor unit, you can also replace the individual wires. To do this, locate the damaged wire and cut it away from the harness. Next, strip one two inch of insulation from each end of the new wire and connect it to the harness using butt connectors. Once all of the wires are connected, test the system to make sure it is working properly. If it is not, then you may need to replace the entire sensor unit. Replacing your parking sensors is a relatively easy process that can be done in a matter of minutes. By following the steps above, you can ensure that your system is always in top working condition. To summarize what we've discussed in this video, parking sensor problems can be caused by dirt or debris, bad wiring, or a bad sensor. The problem is likely in the wiring or dirty sensors, but neither of those is the cause. The parking sensor has failed and has to be replaced. Swapping the sensor is quite easy, but they can be very expensive, which is why I recommend consulting with a professional to avoid the unnecessary purchase if possible. I hope this video helped. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and follow so you don't miss any of my videos.